What's up, America? This is Kim with Geography Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to check out the Tactica inside the waistband holster. And we're going to compare it with the alien gear. I have the Shapeshift, the 3.5, and even an older version so we can look at how they all compare. And because there's a lot of confusion because they look very similar, Tactica is actually like the female version of Alien Gear. So it's like their new line just for women. They have belts, which I have one today. I'm going to do a full review on some women's gun belts coming up. So we'll, you can check that out in that video. Uh, they also have clothing and all sorts of other things just for women. So that's why they look so similar. You can see it's a pancake style, which means it's wider and it has two clips inside the waistband um, hybrid type holster. So it's got a neoprene backing, just like the other Alien Gear holsters. And then a nice hard plastic trigger guard, which is really important. I don't like carrying a holster that doesn't have a nice trigger guard like this. The back is nice and breathable, very, very comfortable. This is the part that's gonna be up against your skin, which is nice, and it's got a sweat guard, so you don't have to worry about that. It just has the standard clips it came with. Uh, they're very, very thin. When I first got them, you really have to break them in. It was hard to get your, you have to get your pants and your belt inside, and there's not much room, which is good, because it's gonna keep it really close to your body and keep it real snug on there, but they did take some time to break in. Since they actually sent me the holster, they upgraded the clips to a new material, which is supposed to be stronger and more durable. What's really neat and ingenious about these is I love how, just like the Alien Gear, you just twist them off and they come right off. So you don't need a tool. They just connect in there, which is really, really convenient. So you'll see the different holes here where you can put the clips. And what you can do is you can decide how high or low you want these to sit inside of your pan. And just so you guys can understand, you move these clips up and down and that helps you decide how far down you want these in your pants or if you want it higher. And that's all a preference and how you dress. And you might even change depending on the pants that you're wearing that day. But what's really nice is you can adjust these really simply. So if that day you want to wear it lower in your pants, you can. Another thing you can do with these clips is that you can have one higher than the other if you want to have more of a can or if you want it to sit straight up and down. Some people prefer to have their gun straight up and down. Some people, like I prefer to have a can like it's already naturally at. It also comes with spacers so you can adjust how tight the gun fits in there. You can make them smaller. I always suggest using Loctite once you decide how you want it. So make sure that that's really how you want it. And once you do, make sure you use it because I've had issues with some of the older style alien gear that had screws where they come off, especially after you're wearing them for six months or a year and everyday use up and you know using it, you're always moving around, they have a tendency to fall off. So get some Loctite once you figure out how you want it. So let's look at it next to the Alien Gear Shapeshift, which is my normal holster. I've actually switched to this one and I really like it so far. It's, it's uh, much smaller as you can tell. We can even hold it this way so you can see. It's smaller than the shape shift, a lot shorter as well. What's really cool is that you can actually take the loops off of the Alien Gear shape shift and use it with this holster. For the test in my trial, I just kept the clips on, but I'm pretty sure I might switch this out. So that's something you can buy on the Alien Gear website and they actually work for the Tactica holsters as well. One thing you're gonna notice is even though this one's bigger, it does move around. It has a lot more ability to really mold to your body than when I hold up the Tactica. And not saying that this is bad, but you, you do have that set in place so you can't bend it any more than that. Now let's look at retention for each. With this one, you have to change the spacers. So you have to take the screws out to adjust it. For the shape shift, you just use the attachment little lug things. Um, you stick them in this hole and then you're able to adjust how tight you want it to be, which is really convenient. You don't have to take any screws apart or anything. Another difference you're gonna notice with the shape shift is in order for you to change the cant, you can just move these screws around. So instead of having to, yeah, I mean, you can use the clips to, to uh, change the cant, which is how the gun sits, or instead you can just have it permanent and you can just use these screws to decide how you want your cant and you have more adjustments. The materials are very similar, but you can see the Alien Gear has an alien and the Tactica has a pretty little flower. Next, we're gonna check out the 3.5. And if you guys are curious about the differences between the shape shift and the 3.5, I actually have a video just on that. So I'll put the links below if you're interested. So let's look closer at both of them. This is a 3.5. You're gonna notice some, some similarities and some differences. So it you do have spacers just like the Tactica, but they're they're bright green. <laughs> 
Um, also the screws, these are flat. The Tactica are actually a, a rounded like beveled screw. I don't know why they made that change, not sure. The attachment for the clips are the same, so you could potentially switch them out if you wanted. But you're gonna notice that the Alien Gear 3.5 is much larger than the Tactica clip, so it's much smaller, much smaller profile. Let's turn them this way so you can see too. So just a different shape, a different size. The other last difference you're really gonna see is that the shell difference, they went, with the 3.5, they went real detailed. Like you can even see like any, any, you can even see what kind of gun it's for. <laughs> and then the Tactica is more like a general looking, it fits the gun really well, but I don't know, they made that small change as well. The 3.5 in the Tactica, you can really see the difference in size there. And same thing when you're looking at how it's gonna fit to your body. This is gonna be a lot smaller and tighter, less profile, and this is a lot bulkier and, and not so form, you know, forming to your body. The last thing we're gonna compare is the really old version Alien Gear. I don't even know if it was a two or a three, who knows? But let's look at that compared to the Tactica. This is the much older version of Alien Gear. You can tell by the material that it's even made of. And yes, I added these ulti clips. That was another video I did about wearing yoga pants and uh, ulti clip wasn't too happy about it to say the least. But the old style um, of Alien Gear, you used to have to put the, the clips or the loops in using screws. So the newer version is much more easy and convenient. I like that so much more. It's just really bulky and big. So if you had this version, I would definitely say it's worth paying money to upgrade for either the newer Alien Gear or the Tactica. And for the drawing, I just wanted to put something on over just like I normally would because it, today it's nice and cool and rainy. So they actually sent me this jacket too. It's very similar to Neil's law enforcement jacket. It's cool. It's got a place where you can put patches. You put one on already. You can put your patches on. There's lots of zippers, ways to make it more comfortable and you can even have like a breeze coming through. It's even got pit fence on the side and there's zippers in the back so you can have a nice little breeze coming through. While I get my pants down, let's talk about how to put this thing on. So just like all other inside the waistband, it's good to start off with your pants unbuckled so you can get it to the spot that you want it to be. I like to wear it at the four o'clock position. And then you're gonna take the clips, and like I said, they're a little tight until you get them used to it, and they're gonna go over your belt in the front. Oops, still getting these broken in. And now it's nice and tight on you. So now you're gonna go and button up your pants and zip yourself up, make yourself look decent. And then we're gonna take our gun, put our gun inside, make sure we keep our finger off the trigger, obviously. Then we can adjust our belt. Like I said, this is the Tactica belt. I'll do a whole review on it coming up soon. Now you can see it's nice and easy to get it out and draw. Another important thing that Neil and I like is that you can just use one hand to reholster, which is really important. You don't want that thing closing up and making it dangerous to reholster. Here's the belt a little closer just so you guys can get a sneak peek of it. It's very, very pretty. I'm curious to see how it'll hold up over time, but I really like it so far. Overall, it's a really well-made holster, just like the other products from Alien Gear. I wasn't surprised by the quality, it was great. The only change I may make is I'll probably switch out those clips for the loops from the Alien Gear, just because I prefer loops. I feel like they stay in place really well. The first week I was wearing it, especially when I was breaking in those clips, I noticed that Sometimes I had to readjust the clips throughout the day because it would come undone just from, you know, pulling your pants up and down. And I live a really active life. I'm not just sitting around all day. So something that you might want to do. If you guys are interested in the products, I'll put the links below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Like, share it, comment. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and click that little bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram, especially if you're curious about how I carry every day. I'm trying to post more about my outfits and how I, how I carry because a lot of people are curious about how you stay feminine and still conceal a gun. Uh, you can put, find us on Patreon. We put all of our premium content there. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. <laughs>